Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Myth 2, Soul Fighter. Today we're going to find out what steps Ulrich is going to start to take to try to pull all of our collective butts out of the fire. With that in mind, let's get right to it. Tuesday, September 23rd, Madrigal. Word was sent to King Ulrich within moments of our arrival through the World Knot. And before an hour had passed, we were brought before the throne. King Ulrich listened intently as Garrick recounted the events leading up to our arrival in Madrigal. As soon as Garrick was done, King Ulrich ordered the Seventh Legion through the world not to scales. They have been instructed to seek out Soulblighter's army and destroy it now, before it grows any larger. King Ulrich is convinced that Soulblighter is searching for a man known as the Summoner. He says that the birth of a man who would resurrect the Meocridia and visit horrors on the world without equal in history or myth had been foretold in an ancient tome called the Total Codex. All that we know of the Meocridia comes from old songs and half-forgotten legends. They are full of horrifying tales of whole armies being devoured and entire cities being erased from the world. They were eventually defeated by the hero Connaught, who imprisoned them in a powerful artifact called the Tain. King Ulrich says we must travel through the world not to Covenant and retrieve the Total Codex from the newly rebuilt library. He says that with the Codex we may be able to find the Summoner before Soulblighter can. According to the journal, a similar expedition was undertaken during the Great War. It seems ironic that 60 years later we will be going through the same world not to retrieve the Codex once again. So yeah, here we are. This this uh, city might seem a little familiar to you if you played through Myth 1. Uh, there are some, some common features, uh, like the statue you can kind of see in the screen right now. And of course, we're not here for the same... Oh wait, no, no, no. We are here for the exact same reason. <laughs> so sorry. I really blew that one. Okay. So we're going to try to get the Total Codex out of this place again. And this time we have to guard the library entrance until the journey... Oh, journeyman... Really? Oh. Yeah, let's give it to the slow hobo with a shovel. Let's let him go get the book. I, I will explain to you in, in fullness of time why I hate the German. You will agree with me. Once the German comes out with the book, you know, when he's done just lollygagging about, we'll have to escape to a world knot and then bail on this place. Let's look at our level specific hints. Let's see. Keep moving, constantly rotating formations. Hmm. That sounds like we're not going to get a lot of people. Keep an eye on the overhead map. Well, duh. If you abandon the raised area from the library, you lose. I don't know if they mean this like it's just automatically level over, or if they're just letting you know that like you can't possibly win if you do this. But uh, yeah, it, it's kind of one and the same. Well, no kidding. Except for dwarves. Dwarves are fantastic at goals. Thank you very much. Um, this is just logical. And, ooh, fetch. They're going to be fetch. Fetch we have not encountered yet. You will see them, though. They are really awful. We cannot melee them down. It's not possible. All right, let's get to this. Those horned guys at the Thrall, those are fetch. And those are whites. Lots of them. Fetch are bad news. They're... Sort of inter uh, interdimensional demons. They're actually not human. Oh, hold on. Wait here. I'll be out with the codex as soon as I find it. Protect the entrance until I return. So thanks for nothing, hobo with a shovel. Anyway, the fetch are demons that are wearing human skin. How disgusting is that? So here are all the guys we have. Let our journeyman go out there. Looks like we're down to about eight berserks, but we got a, we're up to eight archers. Got two dwarves, Xander and Uberdu representing. So first things first, though, we want to take care of a little business. We have extra archers now. Um, oh wait, do we? No, you know, actually, we don't. Or do we? Yeah, I guess we do. Anyway. We got extra archers, and I'm going to rename some of the berserks uh, to guys who used to be warriors. So with that, 
I'll do that and then I will be back in a minute. See you then. So, okay, now that we're back, you can see that we have added. Where did he go? We added Pizza Time and Circle Master for Bowman. Uh, check in with the Berserks. I re added some people in Scrutable Horror. Your name is still too long, sorry. Slan. You got Harson O'Leary, but he's already a Berserk. Claw was 88. Pesty, also a veteran Berserk. Amadeus Vaughn, your name is still too long. Waka Waka, Berserk. Black Loss and DJ Ramshackle in the hizzy, as it were, kids. And there goes our journeyman. So, now we're gonna put our guys up here on the top. Okay. Gotta split up our melee. Yeah. For the simple reason that That's if cool. we don't split up the melee, uh, we can be flanked pretty easily. Because, of course, they have the goals, the filthy, disgusting goals. For some reason, the dwarves don't like to throw their bombs all that early here. I don't know why not. And also, the dwarf gets stuck a lot. It's just, I don't know. Dwarves can't really handle incomes. Might be because they're short. I mean, let's not be prejudiced, but, you know, it's a fact. Luckily, dwarves are pretty darn effective against these guys. Say, if that doesn't work, you are really going to be screwed, my friend. I'm getting chills because he just said that. Wow. Casualty. Lost another archer, I, you know? Or a archer, I should say. But it is super annoying when archers just kind of stand in the way and then get hosed. Almost like they deserve it, really. Alright, so, like I said, there are multiple ways the enemy can come at us next. Let's see what it is. Okay, so next I think they're just gonna send a bunch of goals at us. That's what it looks like this particular little phase is. So we're gonna go ahead and divide, yeah. divvy up the Berserks and King. Actually, for safety's sake, we're going to kind of bring all the archers together. Nice. And he's carrying white pieces. Oh, you flunk. Catch! Move over. I basically don't want the archers yes. to do anything. I do want do to know, though, where the dwarf thinks he's going. Because he ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Also, you guys ain't going nowhere. Let's go! Yes, we'll do it. It's not really all that dangerous in this part, it's just sort of annoying. I'm moving. Put you guys back in the box. I'm moving. Trying to keep everybody together. Yeah, I'm moving. What now? Yeah. That, in fact, was run. <laughs> I haven't seen any fetch yet, which is always nerve-wracking. Let's see, oh, oh we got more. <laughs> They're already on top of us. Let's see, what else we got? got some more coming. Who's coming from over here? It's more goals, goals, and more goals, people. Let's see, maybe we can chop them up before they all get here. Yeah, like I said, goals really not a problem when you have preserves. Yeah. Enemy. 
Incoming! I don't want to call you the worst dwarf ever. 